Hi guys, in this video, we'll talk about Q cycle. Q cycle is a series of reactions that happens in complex 3 of electron transport chain and it is responsible for transporting electron carried by coenzyme U to cytochrome C. So Q cycle happens in complex 3. Now let's see how the reaction actually occurs. Q cycle consists of two cycle of reactions called cycle I and cycle II. Now this is our inner mitochondrial membrane. This is the mitochondrial matrix side and this is the intermembrane space side. And let's assume that this whole thing is our complex 3. Complex 3 consists of two catalytic centers. One is called Q0 and the next one is called Q1. Q0 can initially bind to S2 form of coenzyme Q. So as you can see here, coenzyme Q S2 is made up of coenzyme Q, two hydrogen and two electrons. So this Q0 can bind only to Q S2 initially. But this Q1 form can bind to this Q form, coenzyme Q form, so it has no hydrogen or no electrons. Or it can bind to Q dot minus form. What Q dot minus is, dot says that this Q has extra electron and when it has extra electron, it gets a negative sign. Now let's see how the reaction actually occurs. So, coenzyme Q S2 first binds to Q0 side of complex 3. When it binds to the Q0 side, then it gives it two hydrogen to the intermembrane space. It gives one of its electron to ISP and when it does that, when it gives away two hydrogen and one electron, then it becomes Q dot minus. And ISP gives the electron it received to cytochrome C1, which is a site in complex III, and the cytochrome C1 gives its electron to cytochrome C. And uh, so that what that's what happens and the Q dot minus it gives its electron to cytochrome BL the cytochrome BL gives its electron to cytochrome BH and when this uh, Q dot minus gives its electron it becomes Q and this Q then can go and bind to the Q1 complex so this Q goes and binds here and this BH gives its electron to Q and it becomes Q dot minus. So that's our cycle one. Let's look at the net reaction that happens in um, cycle one. So we start with coenzyme QS2, cytochrome C1, this in which is in Fe3 plus initially. But um, when this receives an electron, it changes into cytochrome C1 Fe2 plus and um, we get one coenzyme Q dot minus and this hydrogen goes to intermembrane space. So that's our net reaction of cycle one. Let's go to cycle two now. So in cycle two, we again start with coenzyme Q S2. It comes and binds to site Q0, gives two, sorry, two hydrogen to intermembrane space gives one of its electron to ISP, ISP gives its electron to C1, cytochrome C1 and when it gives away two, uh, one electron and two hydrogen it becomes Q dot minus the Q dot minus gives its electron to cytochrome, cytochrome BL and it becomes Q and in this case the Q does not go and bind to the Q1 site there's already the Q dot minus from this initial site uh, that's still here so this one doesn't go to bind here it just uh, goes outside in the inner mitochondrial matrix sorry inner mitochondrial membrane in inner mitochondrial membrane coenzyme Q can either exist as coenzyme Q S2 or it can exist as this coenzyme Q or it can exist as coenzyme Q dot minus so this is always fluid in the inner membrane so the coenzyme Q just gets out and maybe some other time when it finds an empty Q1 side it goes and binds to the empty Q1 side but in this case it just gets out so you have Q dot minus the electron goes to BL it goes to BH and then 
this q dot minus receives one electron and two hydrogen from the matrix and it makes a qs2 now let's look at the net reaction in cycle 2 so the net reaction in cycle 2 is we start with a coenzyme qs2 coenzyme q dot minus right here and two hydrogen in matrix that's what we start with and one cytochrome c1 in fe3 plus right here and when it receives one electron it becomes a uh, cytochrome c1 in fe2 plus we end up with one coenzyme qs2 right here we end up with one coenzyme q right here and um, two hydrogen go to the intermembrane space um, so you have two s plus here so the net reaction of cycle i and cycle ii let's try to find out so there's coenzyme q s2 on this side and this side so we cancel this out we have coenzyme q dot minus on this side and coenzyme q dot minus on this side you can cancel this out so the net reaction is we have one coenzyme q s2 one and one two cytochrome c1 in fe3 plus two hydrogen from matrix gives one coenzyme q plus two cytochrome c1 in fe2 plus and two plus two four intermembrane hydrogen so by the end of q cycle cycle one and cycle two two hydrogen from uh, QS2 goes to intermembrane space and to hydrogen from matrix goes to the intermembrane space and that's what happens and uh, cytochrome C1 is reduced and the electron received by cytochrome C1 is given to cytochrome C and that's our discussion of Q cycle thank you for watching my videos if you guys have any question or comment please post below bye